So currently on our way to pick up my new project car. I'm very excited. This is a car that I've wanted for quite a while. Um, and one of my mates, mates in our friend group has one and he posted it up for sale. Um, he's never gotten around to finishing it. This car has been around a few, few people in our friend group and um, Yes, I finally get the chance to own it and try and um, try and save it. So I'm very excited, and this will be a massive project, and will take a while, but I'm very excited. GE, big port, fuel tank, remnants of a diff, and then a rust bucket. I need a bin pile, like why am I going to use a used from the floor range? Why not man? It's just a frisbee that hurts. Everything is loaded up, what a dump. I'm just about to pull up home. My girlfriend has no idea that I bought the car. The car is on the back and uh, we'll see how we go. Now the mission of getting it all the way down to the shed. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the f Aaron? Oh, really? No. <laughs> Since when? Since a couple of minutes ago. <sighs> That's why I drink Aaron too. So I didn't get time to film the other day but because um, it was just that busy with moving all the boxes and stuff like that. But the A6 is finally home and um, I won't be touching this car for a while. I need to finish my S13, paint that and then I've told myself after I do that then I can touch this because this will be a big project and it is very exciting but um, it is a big project so I need to get the 13 finished. Once I get the 13 finished and it's drivable then I can dive into the fun project of an AE86. Still very excited about this. Um, what a car. I know a lot of people are like, oh, they're so overrated. It's just, a, it's just an old Corolla. Yeah, it is, but these things just have this aura around them that it's just such an exciting car. And 
Majority of the parts, I say this now, but majority of the parts are here. Thankfully, it has even windows as well, which is I thought was going to be the hardest part to find, but majority of the parts are here. So what I'm going to do when I start on this is push it out there. I'll set up the inflatable spray booth. I'll push it out. The first thing I'll do is paint. Uh, I will decide what color I want to go, but um, I'll fix any bits of rust that need to be fixed. I will mount the over fenders properly because they weren't mounted properly to begin with. Do that properly, paint it, obviously primer, primer first, paint it, and, uh, and then once it's painted I can put it all back together, I can put the glass in, I can put the door handles on, the hatch, and then, then I can really get stuck into it, that'll boost the um, motivation a lot more when it's all together and it's all in colour. And then I'll start by putting the motor in, which is here. So I'll have a look over the motor, get my manifold made up, which it did have in one of those boxes up there, which took ages and it was very heavy to get all of those boxes up, but they are ready to go. So I will be starting on the motor after it's painted, get that all ready, pair it up with the gearbox, drop it in. And then go from there. Got my drive shaft, everything's there. It's all ready to go. Just needs a lot of time, a lot of effort. And um, I'm so excited about this. So thanks for watching to the end of the video, if you still did. But um, yeah, I'm very excited to start this. Won't be for a while, but good things take time. I've got my dash as well. I should have got it out, but it has a digi dash. So that's a very good bonus there. Right. I now own an AE86 and I am very excited about that so thanks for watching and um, subscribe for AE86 content down the track.